<laughs> we gotta talk about what's happening in Haiti. This is a tough story, but I gotta share it because we're all kind of sitting here unaware of what's really happening only 600 miles from Florida's border. After Haiti's prime minister was assassinated in July 2021, things there have been descending into complete lawlessness and criminal chaos. The assassination created this power vacuum, and now competing gangs, each of which are tied to political officials, are taking over the country and the capital. It's so dangerous that Haiti's current prime minister can't even get to his own office. He's useless anyway. Human rights groups say there are over 200 criminal gangs across Haiti, and over half of them in the capital, 60% of which is currently controlled by gangs. These are armed criminals who are ruthlessly kidnapping, mass raping, and killing anyone at will. And they're doing it everywhere. I mean, you might just step outside your home, go to the market, and you get kidnapped. Or you find yourself in the middle of a gunfight. Or you go out and return home to find the men in your family killed and the women raped. And when these gang members get arrested by the police, a quick call is made to their political contact, and then they're released with their guns. So now things everywhere are falling apart. There's a cholera outbreak and a hunger crisis. And basically, Haiti has become as dangerous as a war zone. But people just aren't talking about it. Now, Haiti has asked for a foreign armed military to come help them get things under control. But no one has raised their hand yet. The Biden administration has sanctioned the political officials tied to these gangs. And they're allowing Haitian migrants here on temporary protected status to stay in the US longer. I'm not saying I want our troops to go to Haiti, but I do have to warn that if we don't help come up with some creative solutions to address the root of the problem, then we're gonna see tens or hundreds of thousands of Haitian migrants show up at our borders. For the way these gangs are terrorizing their people and the horrific suffering they've caused, the Haitian gangs and their political allies are on my list this week.